Hi again. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick video to show you how to use the TV, where the remotes are and such. Uh, my wife, whom you met earlier, has a slight obsession with keeping everything in its place. So, if you can't find anything, you know, look in a basket, you'll probably find it there. For example, all the remotes. Uh, the only remote you really need to watch the TV, well, two, I guess, are uh, this Roku remote. You can tell it's the Roku remote, it's purple, and it says Roku. Just press power here, it'll power on both the TV and the Roku. Then feel free to use any of the apps to watch TV. We don't have any cable, so it's all uh, going to be web-based TV here. The only other remote you're going to need is this little guy for the sound bar. Um, obviously, there's a power button, but there are a few settings depending on whether you want to watch TV or pay, uh, excuse me, or play music from your phone. So uh, I'll show you this one in just a second. All right, to show you about the sound bar. It's pretty easy, but there's a couple little tricks that'll help you out. So when you turn it on, the power button's on the top right of the little remote we showed you earlier. You'll see one little dot come on here. And if you play with the volume, you'll see um, how much volume you have there by how many lights are lit up. Okay, So pretty straightforward there. Now, if you'd like to pair your phone uh, to Bluetooth so you can play music through the sound bar, in the top middle of the remote is a Bluetooth button. If you press and hold it for a second, you'll see all the lights start to come up like this. So when you see that moving light, that means it's ready to pair. Go ahead and pair it to your phone. It'll show up as Vizio and then a few numbers. All right, so then one last thing. Uh, when you wanna watch TV, you wanna make sure that the input lights are in the top, I'll show you. So if you press input, you'll cycle through. And then right here's where you want it for TV. And then one more set of two lights up right there, that's where you want it for playing music from your phone. Other than that, pretty straightforward.